The coolest thing about being a Scientologist, I think currently, would probably be the fact that there is this controversy about it. And when you're in a group of people and you say, I'm a Scientologist, you get everybody's attention. The MNG ventured into the world of Scientology this week with a visit and tour of founder L. Ron Hubbard's house in Johannesburg. The house, which is now a museum, has been restored to its original state as it was in 1960 when Hubbard lived in Linksfield Ridge. South African President of Scientology, Ryan Hogarth, then sat down with us to shed some light onto this controversial religion. 2005, Ron's birthday, it was open public. Okay. And was the vision to turn this into sort of a museum where people could come and, and have it tour, much like this? Exactly. Was that the purpose? Yeah, because this is not the only one. There are four more. Two in America and two in UK. So do Scientologists view founder L. Ron Hubbard as something like a messiah or a prophet? Definitely not. And, and L. Ron Hubbard tried to be very clear about his role. And, and he was always of the view that he uh, researched and found out about life and how it works and you know what we're all about and provided a philosophy. He was very clear about he's, he's a man and only a man. So this was the master bedroom and now restored structurally exactly the way it used to be but now it holds his life exhibition. The best description of Scientology is that it's an applied religious philosophy, which basically means it has an emphasis on application as opposed to faith. Um, and we consider ourselves to be all denominational in that we don't require conversion. Somebody can be of whatever religious background and practice Scientology, um, or none at all. Do you have an idea of your, your membership figure worldwide? Um, a sometimes hotly disputed figure, but um, somewhere in the millions. The last figure, I think, was somewhere in the 90s at around 8 million. The membership figures in South Africa are hard to tie down. I was a member defined. You know, over, over, over the 50 or so years, we've had well over 100,000 people that have come in and done, practiced Scientology in one form or another. If you look at people who actively practice Scientology on a day-to-day -day basis, I would guess the figure probably around 10,000, 15,000, there or thereabouts throughout the country. For, you know, for the first 30 years, the journalists and the media in general were viewed with great suspicion because, Quite honestly, there, were, there, there was a period of time where the media was used as a big stick to beat Scientology, and we were, for a long time, fighting for our right to exist. He started writing in 1930. Fifty years later, in 1980, he wrote Battlefield Earth, which was made into a movie. Battlefield Earth was turned into a movie in 2000, starring John Travolta. So how far did Hubbard's interest in science fiction go? Scientology is known for its belief in immortality, the cosmic universe, and apparently aliens too. The discussion about aliens happens more with journalists than it does, than I discuss it at any point at any other time. I mean, you know, I've, I watch Discovery Channel, I go, wow, it's a huge universe, there's got to be more of us. Um, I, I certainly hold that true from a personal point of view. Is it, is it, is it a core tenet of my belief as a Scientologist? I don't think so. One of the most well-known Scientologists, actor Tom Cruise, propelled the religion into the spotlight with some bizarre statements and, of course, the infamous Oprah stunt. Certainly, if we, if we talk about Tom Cruise, the one thing that has been done is, is that very few people don't know about Scientology as a result of that. Is there a negative side? Maybe there is. I, as I said, I'm a little undecided about it, but it's certainly thrown us into the spotlight and willy-nilly we now have to deal with that. I don't think there's a hard thing about being a Scientologist. I, I by and large quite enjoy it.